Now, what about a, a problem like this? Uh, this is, if you recall from previous classes, this is called a piecewise function. A piecewise function just to, is a, a rule. It has two different rules for writing that function or, or for graphing. These are often hard to do on your calculator. So let's just quickly draw this out by hand here. There are my x and y axis. And what does it say? That when x is not the number 5, the function is 1. So let's find this is our number 5. And we're saying when it's not 5, then the function is the value 1 up here. So I'm going to do an, a circle because we don't know what's happening there yet. And the function should look like this because it says when x is not 5, the function is 1. So when x is 3, the function is 1. When x is 1, the function is 1. When x is 0, the function is 1. When x is 6, the function is 1. So we just get a horizontal line. Now what happens when x is equal to 5? It says the function value is negative 1 then. So when we are at the number 5, our function value is down here. So this function, it goes along, it's a line, then it pops down and it's this point and it jumps back up and looks at the line. Well, what's the limit as x approaches 5 of this function? If you look at the function to the right of the graph, it looks like it's approaching the number 1. From the left of the graph, it's approaching the number 1, so the limit is the number 1. We don't really need to do that graphically, uh, but we could, uh, excuse me, we don't need to do it numerically. We did do it graphically. Numerically, what happens if I put in 5.0001? What do I get out? The number 1. If I put in 5.0000001, I get out the number 1. What if I put a number smaller than 5 in? 4.9999999. I get the number 1. So notice that it's going to be approaching it either way. But also notice that the limit is not the function value. The limit as x approaches 5 is not the same as the, uh, the, same as the function value. That's just an important concept. I want to be sure you understand that they don't have to agree always.